All right, guys, so instead of making a one month review talking about all of the different features, it's a phenomenal bike. There's a million things I could probably say about the bike that I love, also things that I dislike. Instead, let's focus on one of those features and that would be distance. So in the specifications on Best Buy's website, you can drive this bike actually up to 32 miles. Whether that be a combination of pedaling or cruising, using the cruise control and the throttle, not sure, but today we're testing that out. So 32 mile max range, the top speed is 20 miles per hour. Riding the bike, I can tell you once the battery drains, it does lose speed. So probably close to 85% battery drainage, it drops down to 19 miles per hour and then down to 18 and 17 and then it dies which of course you can pedal it once it dies but that being said those are what we need to look out for today those downgrades in speed testing the bike so just to preface this video as you can see we're actually at the apartment here this is where i live it's two and a half miles to the trail that we're riding today the trail that we're riding today is 10 miles one way 10 miles back so a total of 20 miles round trip of course the additional two and a half miles to get to the park and back to the apartment from the park should come out to roughly five miles so in total 25 mile trip today of course riding to the park will use just a combination of pedaling and cruise control at 20 miles per hour but once we get to the park you'll see it's a straight shot and should be pretty much up the trail and back down the trail a total of 20 miles that should in turn give us a good idea of how fast the battery uh, drains so like i said 32 mile max range let's head to the park and test the bike out 10 miles one way 10 miles back we're going to videotape the entire thing and do some checkups along the way let's go ahead and get started all right guys so here we go it's an overcast day it's probably in the 70s it's a little bit windy we're in florida no uphills or downhills it's a straight shot should give us a pretty accurate depiction of the strength of the battery and just to uh, clarify where we start as you can see the trip is set to 0, 0.0 miles the battery is fully charged we're at a pedal assist level of two that will of course adjust and vary depending on uh, the traffic and how fast i need to cross the street but uh, let's go ahead and see how far we can take this thing All right, guys, so here we are at the JY Linear Park. It's 10 miles. This is the starting line here. Just to quickly show you, we did 3.6 miles to get here. I said two and a half in the intro, but 3.6, so call it uh, 
7.1 assume, or 7.2, excuse me, uh, round trip to get to the park and to get back. And of course, add 20 miles because this is 10 miles up and 10 miles back. So we're gonna go all the way up and then come all the way back here and see just how good of a job the bike does at holding a charge. Of course, uh, we're gonna use cruise control, which if you hold down on the bottom arrow for 0.3 seconds, it sets cruise control. We're gonna toggle the throttle there and ride. So let's go ahead and do just a quick, uh, or it's probably gonna take me a better part of an hour or two to get this done. Let's go ahead and do a range test. All right, let's go. Guys, the rest of the park is across the street, so let's cross and be safe, and then I'll see you at the 10 mile marker.
right guys so adding on the 3.7 miles it took to get to the jy linear park we're now at 13.7 because like i said it's 10 miles up and 10 miles back now you'll probably notice here that we're no longer on the linear park in fact suiting is we're at the lee county transit uh hub here which is the transit hub for fort myers so uh to make this video just a little bit fairer i actually rode past the linear park it's still considered i think the linear park because it butts into uh a colonial linear park which begins right around here somewhere uh, but this sidewalk that I'm on actually continues into the downtown uh, River District where it's artsy and there's restaurants and shopping and things like that. So uh, just to give you a fair look at how far the bike can ride, not only did we ride up a steep grade, uh, the speed dropped off roughly five miles per hour. It handled the downhill extremely well. This bike cruises phenomenally well. I just wanted to take it 13.7 miles, which is 10 miles plus the 3.7 miles it took to get to the park to start this test so we're at 13.7 miles let's go ahead and turn around get back on the jy linear park and then head home wrap this video up and talk about how good of a job the bike performed it's windy i think i videotaped some parts where the the, the motor was gearing down it was uh trying to 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 get me to push me through the wind I'm probably at the upper limits of what this bike can handle. I'm about 210 pounds, 6'1". I think this bike pretty much tops out at that height and weight limit. So with that being said, let's get back on the bike and uh, see if we can't drain this battery. All right, guys, just doing a quick check-in here. We're at 16.6 uh, some odd miles here, uh, 16 and a half. So, that's probably halfway uh, the distance or the max distance this bike is capable of riding. So like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, 32 miles. Uh, we're on the bike here. Uh, one thing I actually love is of course, because it's electric and because it has cruise control, you can actually ride uh, upright without having your hands on the handlebars. But just figured I would check in halfway. We're riding here going past the airport uh, some really cool trains over there but uh halfway the bike is doing uh 19 miles per hour it's been a little bit windy today so i give the bike credit for maintaining uh its energy and for keeping me at a 19 mile per hour pace which is fast enough and the fact that we're halfway we're still going strong i can't be any more thankful because I'm hungry and I want to get home. So just checking in halfway, bike's doing great, out riding, having a good time. I'll see you at the end of the trip. lights will flash automatically for us here or not a little bit unfortunate because the lights came on late there but now one thing I need to point out is once the battery starts running low, as you can see, I've actually got the pedal assist set to eight, which is one notch below the highest setting. Uh, it does actually start getting harder to pedal, even though the pedal assist is set so high. So here we are, probably uh, two thirds of the way back. Let's go ahead and crank this bad boy up and keep riding, baby. All right, guys, so here we're about to cross the second bridge, the same bridge we crossed on the way up. We're crossing it on the way back. This is probably uh, two-thirds of the way 
uh, through the linear park. Like I said, it's 10 miles here. This, we actually have to go up the road and cross at an intersection so that we can actually get uh, across the street over there. Like I said, we're gonna have to actually go around the corner here and then cross at an intersection to get to the other side of the road. It is still part of the park. So as you can see, cross at the signal, it shouldn't affect the overall efficacy of the test. And this is that busy intersection we need to cross to get back to the opposite side or to continue down JY Linear Park. So let's go ahead and dismount and cross this very busy road, as you can see. So like uh, from earlier, we have to get across the street to continue down JY Linear Park to get back where we started. All right, guys, so as you can see across the street over there, JY Linear Park, that's where we were roughly a couple of minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> the last part of the trip, we're at 22 and a half miles, doing 13 miles an hour. We could uh, use pedal assist and save battery, but because, because we're testing this out, uh, we're exhausting it. Let's go ahead and... Oh, and by the way, there are four bridges. This was the first bridge we crossed. We're about to cross it. It's not far from the bridge we just crossed. Uh, so my mistake, but pretty much uh, the end of the trip here, we've got roughly maybe two miles, maybe a mile and a half or less. Uh, once we cross this bridge, we'll be at where we began. guys so we have officially crossed over where we began uh it's 24 miles we have totaled so far uh we are actually on the way back so the bike still cruises at 19 miles an hour it came down from 20 which means of course uh the battery is dying let's go ahead and see how pleasurable and how easy the ride is getting home. We've got about 3.7 miles left right now. There's 24. So uh, we should be in the clear. We should come in under 30 miles once we dismount the bike and close the video out. Uh, we are still doing a fairly good job on battery power here, moving at 18 miles an hour. Ah, home sweet home, baby. That's where we cross the street at the very beginning. We're about to cross as soon as these cars drive by. And we are back. Drop inside the bowl there. Go down that little hill. What I actually love is how nice the bike cruises. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, roughly uh, 28 miles there. And don't mind the battery indicator because it's broken because I rode the bike in the rain. Hey, what's up, Bob? What are you doing? All right, guys, so... Uh, that is basically the end of the trip there. We're at 27.7 miles. Uh, like I said, I got caught in the rain a couple of weeks ago, so the battery indicator no longer works. But uh, I'd say for the last portion of that trip, we maintained 18, 19 miles per hour. Pedal assist was a little bit sluggish, like I said, but uh, 28 miles, not bad.
A little bit unfortunate because the lights came on late there, but 